Hey guys, TechCrunch, what the video for you guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix lag or slowness with performance on your iPhone. Now, this can be done on any iPhone to improve your performance by up to 60-70%, depending on what you have. Now, we're going to share with you about 10 different tips that can potentially speed up your phone much faster and give it a brand new life again. So, let's get started. The first thing is, whenever you have a phone, is making sure you do a force restart from time to time. Now, to do a force restart, what you'll do is press the volume up, volume down, and then hold the side button just like that. So, that was volume up and down really quick, and then you want to hold the side button till the screen goes completely black. As you can see, I'm still pressing and holding on this button here. And once I see the Apple logo reappear, I'll let go of that button. Again, volume up and down, and then after that, you're going to hold that side button, and this method will work on iPhone 8 and above. And all this does is it's restarting the phone in a way that it reloads the code. Slightly different from just a regular turning it on and off. This does reload the code, it takes a little bit longer than just restarting your phone and it will clear up most of the errors that are happening software related on your phone that could be causing the phone to become buggy and lag. Now the next thing you want to do after you have done that is go ahead and swipe up and it's all cleared up from our phone. So you want to swipe up, clear all the apps one by one. If you have Tons of app running in the background. You don't know what's going on. Just close them out. Now, the next thing you want to do to fix lag on your phone is taking a look at all the apps that you have and deleting unused or unnecessary app. And the way you would do that is go through your phone and let's say you have an app that you don't use. Simply press and hold for a long time like that, like a few seconds, and then it will pop up a menu and you'll say remove app and then click on delete app. So I wanted to, let's say, delete this app. I press and hold, and then I go remove app, and then delete app like that. And you will click on delete, it will remove it. And of course, if you need it to get it back later on, you can download it again. But it's important that we do that, and that's just because over time, tons of app means they need to be constantly updated, they're running sometimes, and you don't know what kind of power they're using up, and they could slow down your phone. So the less app you have, the better, I say. Now, the next thing you want to do after you have done that, it's this is going to be related to the performance of your browsing. So let's say you have a lot of lag when it comes to browsing, which you notice. What you can do is clear the data and the history of your Safari browser. In order to do that, you want to go into settings and then go ahead and look for the Safari application itself. So you'll go down, you see a bunch of apps here, you'll find Safari here, go down here, and then I like to go ahead and just do a clear history and data just like that and close out all the tabs as well if you don't need them. And again, all that website data that you might have had, it's going to clear out and you'll see a much improved in your browsing experience. Now moving on to the next thing that you want to do is checking the storage on your device. So you want to go into settings again. Now this time in the main settings option you want to go to general and then this time you're going to go iPhone storage and take a look at the storage the amount that you have. Generally you want to make sure you have I'd say at least 50 percent or more available if possible. You know you don't want to max out on that limit because once you start maxing out on that limit, you kind of start having giving your phone that issue to manage storage itself. So even if it's like you know close to 75%, that's fine. But I say still give some buffer room there. And you can see all the apps that are using the data itself. You can go through. If you don't want an app, right, you can just delete the app. And then if it's related to your messages, maybe you want to go ahead and delete some messages. But the most important one, it's going to be around your photos. So once you have a lot of photos and videos, especially, they'll take up a lot of space. And you can go ahead and delete some videos if you can, especially bigger videos. If you record it in 4K, they tend to take up a lot of space. So you're going to select and go ahead and click on it and delete it like that. And then after that, also make sure you go back into your recently deleted going to go ahead and view that album and then delete it from here to permanently delete it. Remember, though, if you delete it, you won't be able to get these videos back. So be careful whenever you do it. But again, once you do that, you'll see much more uh, efficient your phone runs and pretty much increase in speed as well. Now, after you have done that, the next thing you want to take a look at in your settings here is background apps. So in the main settings here, you go to general and then you'll go to background app refresh. And what that is, is if you have this turned on, 
right Wi-Fi or only Wi-Fi I usually like to turn it off completely but basically if apps are running here right if they're running with your Wi-Fi like this they'll constantly be looking to pull information from the internet so that it's available right away but when you open up app it also doesn't refresh themselves so why have it constantly refresh when it's sort of taking up the power that it needs to run other applications so generally I like to just completely turn this off but if you want for an app to be constantly notifying you you would want to make sure that is turned on but you'll see a much improvement on it go down the list take a look at it review which one you want on and off and then make a decision on based on that the next tip I have for you guys is around your batteries optimization so when it comes to optimizing your battery you want to go into your settings look at the battery and under charging and health you want to make sure this is turned on optimized battery charging so this will help your phone again if you have this setting on to optimize it in a way that it is most efficient for your phone usually when you turn this off yeah you can charge it faster about 80 percent but usually you want this default setting turned on if it's not already turned on for you now moving on to the next thing you want to check out on your phone setting is going to general software update now this one is slightly uh, two different way it goes first thing is you want to make sure your phone is up to date with the latest software version out there and the way you want to make sure that is because over time if you're not running the latest software and you're running an older version some apps might be requiring a new version and trying to mix with the old and the new it can make the phone sort of kind of conflicted in terms of how they're going to be processing your application so what i recommend is installing the latest update but along with that if you one you can also turn off automatic update and the reason why i like to turn off automatic update is because when there's a big update out in the background your phone is constantly looking to download that app and that app and it could be a big size one and then that could be taking up some power on your phone and making the phone feel like it's a little bit slower so you want to make sure that you turn that off but also make sure you know update it as necessary but another tip you can do it now with the new iOS 16 update is you can just install the security response and system file so that the important updates are being installed because in the past you needed to update the whole software itself to get those security updates but you don't need any longer to do that so now moving on to the next tip I have for you guys is reducing the motion. Now this is going to be for older phones but newer phones as well. If you go into your settings of your phone, look in accessibility and then you look for this reduce motion. So this one is going to be somewhere around your touch. Let's go back here. So we go to touch here and we will look for actually go back here we're going to go to motion actually and then you want to make sure that this is turned on for reduce motion here and the reason why you want to do that is it reduces all this extra effect that runs whenever you're opening the app right what i mean is like when you're opening up app as you can see there's not a lot of animation and those animation and effect kind of takes up time and again makes the phone slower so if you want to turn that on you'll see improvement on it. again this is going to be on a personal base one so I would recommend testing it out see what if you like those animation or if you turn it off see if you see a significant improvement you might considering it again on the older iPhones I've seen there's a big improvement in performance having that turned on just like that now moving on to the next thing you can do is if you, oh, none of these tips are working for you is doing a reset all the settings so over time we set up a lot of different settings that are Def from the default settings themselves but they can can interfere with the phone's performance and we want to reset those settings so in order to do that we go to settings general and then all the way down here where it says transfer reset iphone we're going to click on that and the first option reset and the reset we're going to do is reset all settings here but before you do that can I understand what this is doing this is not going to delete your personal data like photos videos apps or anything like that what will reset is settings that you have set like network settings so if you set it connected to certain wi-fi and vpn setting those will get reset so you need to reset it up again things like oh, keyboard dictionary home screen layout which is important if you made custom home screen layout that uses all these effect you want to it's going to reset those and then also any settings around location and privacy settings so that one like if you did any custom settings it will reset those again it helps if you're really experiencing major 
lag or slowness on your iPhone, I recommend doing it. But again, this is on the more extreme end of things. Now, lastly, if you've done of all of these things and you're getting this sort of performance slowness issue, I recommend doing a backup and restoring your phone after you back it up. You're going to do this option where you erase all content and setting, but make sure that you back it up before you do that. This will wipe the phone and then you'll restore from the backup. Now you can do it through your iCloud or if you do it through your PC, which will link a link in the description section or in the comment section. You can find that because that's a whole other video on how to do that. But again, that is a last resort thing that you want to do to fix your lag on your iPhone. So that's it for fixing lag on any iPhone. Hopefully this video was helpful. And if you guys found a better way or tip that you want to share, make sure to leave it in the comment section. And thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys in the next video.